Our Cincinnati history has found a new home. The 1930s vintage murals that survived demolition in two previous homes have a new permanent site downtown. Local 12's Jeff Hirsch was at the convention center for the dedication. Every community is a mosaic, colors woven together, but Cincinnati has its own special mosaic, or mosaics actually, nine huge panels, eight tons apiece, depicting workers from industrial Cincinnati in the 1930s. First displayed at Union Terminal, then at the airport, as Mayor John Cranley put it, a welcoming beacon for travelers. You knew you were home when you saw these murals. The murals were made by artist Vinyl Rice in 1933 for the concourse of our train station. But as trains faded, the concourse was torn down. The murals moved to the airport in 1974. But as the airport lost flights, the terminals housing the murals were demolished as well. The artwork was in jeopardy. But the airport board and the city found enough money, more than $2 million, to move the murals to a permanent home, one of the outside walls of the Duke Energy Convention Center. The men in these murals, and they were all men, are not just something that the artist thought up. They were real people, real factory workers in Cincinnati back then, who have real relatives who are still here now. Did you know he was on the mural when you were oh, a kid? Yes, I went to it when I was seven years old, and I'll be 90 in next month. Anna McCarthy of Brown County is the daughter of Walter G. Robinson. It's my, my father, and he's in the America Laundry machinery up on top of the, the uh, with the chain. What are your thoughts about it being preserved and put over here? I think it's wonderful. I really do. The past preserved for the future. It's history, you know, and I'm really happy for it that I get to see this. So uh, I think this is a very important day for all of us. Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News. It certainly is history. It's like reliving your childhood a bit, isn't it? The artist who made these murals took pictures of the workers at factories, including Procter & Gamble, U.S. Playing Card, and then used those photos as models. Yeah, they're pretty cool. I remember going to see them at Union Terminal when my dad would take the train.